Thank you so much for being our friend on Facebook. I can't tell you how excited we are today to talk to you overlooking the Valley of Armageddon. We've been spending most of the day in the village of Nazareth. We've been studying together, going through every one of the sites, seeing the Bible come alive. And now we've left the village and now we've traveled up on the brow of the hill. This is the same hilltop that they brought your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to and they were going to throw him off here and have him lose his life because he read the book of Isaiah in the synagogue and told them that he was the answer to their prayer. And so we're here on historic ground. Something powerful happened 2,000 years ago. The struggle between darkness and light and good and evil. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to look over my shoulder. I want you to look at this valley. I've been coming over here for many, many years. I've been over 40 trips to the Holy Land. I've never seen the valley that green. And then to be blessed with such a clear day that we can see all the way from Mount Tabor, all the way to Haifa, it's unbelievable. And right down this road in the background, that road takes you right into Megiddo, the Valley of Armageddon. And here we are together today. I want you to be encouraged. Look at this valley. Know that this is the place where the book of Revelation is going to be fulfilled. But let's look at the past. We've talked about Jesus being here. Let's look at the present. What about the prophecies that are being fulfilled? Look over my shoulder. You see the fish ponds? They're feeding literally the nation of Israel, and God is so blessing them that they're exporting food out of this valley. Our guide Sam was just talking to us yesterday, and he was commenting on the blessings of God and the rain and how green everything is. And now many of these communities are growing not one crop a year, no, not two crops a year, not even three. They're growing a crop every 90 days. Four crops a year, they're producing food, and we're seeing it. Look how green the valley is. Look how the building and the construction is going on. And you're seeing fulfillment of prophecy after prophecy. And I know that the world is temperamental. I know the world is fickled. I know that they've turned against the little nation of Israel. But here's what you've got to remember today. There are only two nations in the world that have a Bible heritage. The United States of America was built by God-fearing people. They were people of faith, and they honored the Word of God. They put it on their buildings. They carved it in stone, and they said, we want to be a lighthouse in an old, dark world. We want to carry the gospel around the world. 1776, that journey began. But we know that the journey of a nation actually was back in England when 1620 we have people praying to be free to study and preach the Word of God. And what are we experiencing today? 1620, 1776, 1948. We know that the British mandate of 1917 was preparing the ground and there were conflicts in this part of the world. There were conflicts here in 1948. And what did Israel do? They said, you know, we're going to build a nation. We're going to have a place for the Jew to go after the Holocaust, the Second World War, and we're going to build it up on the Word of God. And they took the Bible and made that their constitution. They took Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, and that became their constitution. And they built a nation upon the Word of God. And a few hours ago, our God Himself said, how could this miracle happen in 60 years? How could this take place in just a short period of time? I have an answer for you right now. It's three letters, G-O-D. It's a God thing. God has a plan. God has a purpose. And we're standing right in the middle of a fulfillment of prophecy. It's, this is so exciting. I wish you were with us. I wish you could just be here to see the valley and to experience what we're seeing in the land. Please stay in touch with us. We have some wonderful good news to tell you 
from the Word of God as we study the past, the present, and the prophecy. You're seeing it come alive. No wonder I feel like this is my home. No wonder it touches my heart. And no wonder it's my hope of a coming King. May God bless you until we get together again. Please share this with family and friends. Let's pray together for revival in our own country. And let's pray for the peace of Jerusalem.